Set the heat and humidity on your morning walk or as you take out the trash today. And with frequent summer storms, it's prime time for those pesky mosquitoes. I hate them. <laughs> Getting rid of them will keep mosquito control quite busy. Ada's on your side with Melissa Marino. She is live with more on how chickens and fish, believe it or not, can help you not have to mess with as many mosquitoes. Right, Melissa? Hey, good morning. I think we all hate them. And it's so, um, we're learning so much this morning, including, as you mentioned, that chickens can help in the fight with this. Yes, chickens. I'm here now with Leonard, who has one just hanging out here with him. Tell me how they help. Well, this uh, Sentinel Chicken Program, it's a best management practice used by the mosquito control industry for the detection of viruses transmitted by mosquitoes. And within Hillsborough County, we have 10 chicken flocks strategically located north, south, east, west, and in the interior. And every Monday, we go out there and we draw the blood from the chickens and we take it to our local lab here. And um, by Friday, Within a couple of days, we'll get a report back that says the the blood that w the samples we dropped off could actually have a virus, and we'll respond to that. We'll send the trucks out, and then uh, Wednesday, which is a week from when we dropped it off, we'll actually get a confirmation what type of virus it is, if it even is a virus. And so, what does that mean? Then you'll take the trucks out, so you'll go. Then you'll know that there's a type of mosquito out there, and you need to then spray for it. Yeah, we'll know there's a virus in that area, so we'll get the trucks out and start spray. So interesting. And, and the, uh, all the results, they're shared by all the counties throughout the state of Florida. And we can actually see the different viruses throughout the f state of Florida. Last year, we were able to see in the panhandle the West Nile virus working its way down. So we kind of knew it was coming. So we, we had already taken action. Wow. Just in their little coops. Okay, really yes. quick, we're going to bring RJ in. We told you that we would let you know if there is any connection with the coronavirus and mosquitoes. What's the answer? So we hear that question a lot. And uh, one of the things that we want to let folks know is that the mosquito is a very uh, studied insect. And we know a lot about mosquitoes, and there's no scientific evidence that a mosquito is capable of transmitting coronavirus. And uh, we're, we're happy to provide that information. Awesome. Thank you so very much for joining us this morning. i send it back to you. Yeah, my mosquito story is this, Melissa. Monday morning, I was getting ready for work, and the mosquito flew into the bathroom. And so I was, I was freaking out because I knew I had to kill the mosquito. I didn't want to come back from work and still have to deal with it. So that's my mosquito story for the day. I hate them, and I know you do also. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. I had to kind of corner it and move slowly, but I got them, and it felt so good to squish them <laughs> up against the wall.